Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. So today I'll be showing you how you can edit the properties of a local player's mouse. So the first thing you want to do is insert a local script into starter GUI. And then you want to create a local variable of the player's mouse. So local mouse equals game.players dot local player and then get mouse and a set of parentheses. Now to change what the player's mouse icon looks like, you put mouse dot icon equals www.roblox.com forward slash asset question question mark id equals and I've got um, a decal of a red x so it should change to that and your mouse, see there we go, it changes to a nice big red x now say you want to be able to lock the position of your mouse so we can uh, get rid of this we're going to put local user input service equals game get service user input service and then we're going to put user input service dot mouse behavior equals enum dot mouse behavior Lock the center. We want to make sure so we can put user input service dot input changed connect function and then we're just going to create a, a variable inside our function called let's make it input object and then we're going to put an if statement so if input object equals and then want to make the equals like the enum user in type of the mouse movement so input object dot user input type so if the user input type equals enum dot user input type dot mouse movement then and we're going to just put a simple print and we'll make it print hello now let's go ahead and see if uh, that works and as you can see here every time I move my mouse the number of times hello has been printed increases so now this could be used for AFK systems because you'll be able to lock the player's mouse and then, well technically you're not locking, you're seeing how many times the uh, player's mouse moves. Now you may ask, well what's the point of all this? Well you can create say a simple system so if your player moves their mouse right the camera moves right, move it left then the camera moves left. So let's do it. First, you're going to want to insert a script into local script. I mean, a local script into starter GUI, sorry. You're going to want to have your local user input service at the top. That was on my clipboard. And then you want to make sure that you're disabling the mouse icon because you don't want the player's mouse to be seen to show that they're moving it to the right or left. It needs to be a natural movement. So that was from before. Um, and then obviously we want a reference to their player's camera. So local camera equals game dot workspace dot current camera. And then you want to change the camera type to scriptable. So we change that to scriptable. And now the next thing we want to do is bind the function so when the player's mouse moves it moves left or right so we're going to want a local variable called angle and then obviously it has to be when the player inputs I mean like inputs the mouse so moving the mouse so user input service dot input change connect 
it connect function input object and then we'll end that and then we're going to put if statement in if input object equals well sorry dot user input type equals enum dot user input type dot mouse movement then well then we'll do another if statement because we want to see if it's on the right hand side of the screen or the left hand side of the screen not just in the middle so if the input object dot delta so first we'll do the x axis dot x is less than zero then we want the angle to equal angle minus five else however if the input object so else if input object dot delta dot y oh sorry dot x is above zero then we want the angle to be plus five <coughs> and now oops sorry little typo there it needs capital A gosh that's annoying so now once you've done that you want to make sure that every time it plays mouse and moves it updates the position so we could use a while loop but that's very inefficient so we're going to use um, render step that fires like quicker than a while to do loop can so we want to game get service run service dot render step connect function and then you want two variables that you have on your local x and your local z so local x and this is where maths comes into play so we want it to be 10 times math dot cos because that returns the cosine of the angle so math dot cos math and then we're going to use dot rad and then obviously our angle and then what our local z that'll be 10 times um, that'll be we can use the sine rule now so math dot sine is math dot rad angle now we want actually another two variables let's say so we'll have the position of the camera so local position cam equals and this will be just a vector so vector three dot new and then we're going to use our x and z values so x five z and then we're going to want obviously our players position so local player torso equals and then we, this way we can reference local player game dot players dot local player dot character and then dot torso dot position now all we need to do is make the cam position add the torso position so the position of the camera equals position of the camera plus player torso and you want to update the camera coordinates so camera so this will be a coordinate frame and then that will equal this C frame of well your cam position and your torso position oops one way around let's try that see look you can see my mouse on the right side here but when I put it in you can't see it this is because you made it invisible and look when I twist my mouse it'll only spin it I can't move it up or down and that's precisely what you want to <laughs>